Hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Alfa binti Muhammad Nazir. So today, I'm gonna share with you guys how I made the main course. For this main course, I use fish, which is I use red snapper fish, and I have made some mashed potato, vegetables, sauce, and of course, I grill the fish. Well, there actually have other fish that you can use, such as um, tilapia and of course sea bass. For the fish, you have to use that fish with um, around 500 grams and above because you want to do the fillet. So of course, you need a big fish. Pull up guys, before you enter the kitchen, please, please, please make sure that your nails are very, very short and clean. And you wear the right uniform and please wear the apron. Right, for the first thing, I'm gonna boil my potato first. Turn on the heat. Then add some salt. Let it boil until it's very, very tender. So you can easily to mash it. Okay, before we start, make sure you have clothes underneath the cutting board. First of all, cut starting from the back of the head straight down to the back of its fin. Using the tip of knife, cut it along backbone of this fish all the way down to the end of the tail. Then, you need to slice inner side of this fish slowly using the edge of knife to detach the fillet from the bone. Using a tweezer, take out gently the bone that left it in the fillet. I'm going to remove the skin which we call as skin of fillet. Hold at the tail. Moving on with care, gently just scrub off the skin by moving the knife while pulling off the skin. Now you have your skin of filler. Look, there's no left meat at the skin. I cut my filler into two and then marinate with salt and black pepper. After the potato overcooked or it's very tender, you can peel off your in using the running water you can use hand or you can use the spoon to peel off the skin like this for the milk Next is put your garlic. I put two garlic. If you want to put 
this one is okay and then pour the rosemary before you put this milk into the potato make sure it just simmer stage not until it boiling put the butter I put the butter stage by stage and make sure your butter is at room temperature and not used directly from the chiller because it will change the texture and it's really hard to melt together with the potato warm milk Because I use unsalted butter, so I put some salt and black pepper. After that, transfer to a small bowl. Okay, right now I'm gonna do the sauce. Okay, firstly I'm gonna melt the butter. 50 gram of butter. Then after the butter is melted, fully melted, then we pour the flour. Then I'm gonna pour the stroke. Then I squeeze the lemon juice and you can add lemon zest if you want. Then we add some salt for seasoning and some black pepper. Then you can add one drop of yellow coloring into the sauce. Now it's time to blanch the broccoli. Make sure you put some salt into the water. And then after it's boiling, you can put the broccoli for a while. Make sure to prepare your ice water to stop it's cooking then right now i'm gonna saute my vegetables starting with your corn oil and then put your mushrooms and cherry tomato salt and black pepper Grill at the skin side first. After it cook like one minute and then flip the fillet. For plating, I have made two types of plating. Okay, right now is the first plating. I'm piping straight lines at the plate, the sauce, and then put the fillet on the center. Put the vegetables randomly as long as it looks nice and suitable. Piping the sauce and also the mashed potato. And then take two slices of lemon to put at there as garnishing. So here the result for the first plating for the second plating I have five two rounds like that of the sauce and then put the fillet cherry tomato broccoli and also the slice of mushrooms and then I pipe the mashed potato make it circle using the sauce 
on the top of mashed potato i have put some black pepper for the lemon you can put like this that's all from me thank you very much and i hope that you like this video